So this is a scroll compressor. It's probably my favorite compressor. And it's tall and it's skinny. So it's pretty well round like a Coke can. So, but our discharge is at the very, very top at the side. And our suction is going to be below it. So suction is usually above middle, but the discharge always at the top and out the side. This is our scroll compressor. The motor side of it is going to be down here, even though the plug's here. So let's look at what's happening inside of the scroll. So inside the scroll, we're going to have a top plate like this that stays stationary and this bottom plate that's going to move around. It's not actually spinning. It's going to be moving around and it has these little tracks that it goes on. If we look in the side right here, there's that little gap. Well, that allows the refrigerant to come in. Then what happens is as we come around, notice how it squeezes off to get really tight right there. So as it does, it actually grabs refrigerant. It grabs refrigerant. This is what it's doing. It's grabbing that refrigerant. So next, let's look and see what it's doing with that refrigerant. So here are, here's the scroll when we open it up. This one's been out and taken apart for a while. It's severely rusted. What's happening is it grabs refrigerant, and then it starts squeezing it more and more and more and more all the way around, and then it discharges it at the very top. Notice we have that hole in the top. That's where the discharge side is. So this is stationary, and this one just simply moves around like this. So what's happening is inside, we see the two pieces it's doing this around and around and around it takes three rotations of the motor to make one full pump action but what makes it so efficient is there's another one just starting and another one halfway in the middle and because we never have to change direction like the reciprocating back and forth we're always moving forward so it's very very efficient of the motor and here's from the very top side you can see how it's squeezing it out and discharge it at the top so i have this other little demonstrator I don't know if it's going to help or not, but uh, we can see the open position where the refrigerant will start to come in. And then as this scroll moves around, it just works kind of like a hula hoop. One stays stationary, another one just squeezes it in. So it just squeezes it in more and more and more until we finally get to high pressure. And the very top, we dump it into this chamber. The very top section here is just an open chamber. This is, works as a muffler. So this is gonna be very hot in the top, but it also allows that gas, as we're squeezing that in, the pulsation to smooth out. So that pulsation works like a muffler, then we have our discharge line and it's discharging out to the top of the condenser. So all that hot gas is gonna build up here, discharge it. Some of the older ones actually had a discharge temperature sensor here. So if it got too hot up here, it would, actually, it would shut the system down. These are easier to actually cool off if you have water because you're very close to all the pumping mechanisms. There's also no springs. So the, where all these little dents are right here, you're atta attached to the motor. So it's very easy, a lot easier to transfer heat from this outside compressor or get the heat away from that compressor with water. Although I still don't like using water because I'm near electrical connections and I make mud all over the ground. Uh, but some people are really pushing the water. Either way, that's our scroll compressor, my favorite type. It's a very efficient compressor. It took them, they've had this technology for a very long time. They just now got to where their machining process becomes very efficient to where they can make these and machine them so well. They say that these actually become more efficient after their first six months of use because of, the, of them moving against each other actually makes a better connection. Now, Copeland actually makes a compliant scroll that allow for this to separate a little bit if it gets any moisture or liquid refrigerant in there. You still don't want liquid in your vapor pump. Uh, it'll definitely break a valve on a reciprocating compressor. But on these, if you get too much, it'll definitely it'll lock it up and these will even break off. But it is possible in the Copelands for them to separate just a little bit and allow some of that refrigerant to flow back through. So it gives you a little bit of a fail safe. Uh, if you do get liquid refrigerant, the idea is it falls down here at the bottom where all of our pump action is going to be right about here on that compressor. Really great design. Um, it's, it's a lot more difficult taking these apart. I've taken them apart many, many, many times. But you can, um, if you take it apart, you just see all that motor side down here. This is your main pump action, and it's got three different slides that it hooks to. Uh, this one only has two. So, anyways, it just slides back and forth just like this. The motor has an offset ring here, and it just kind of like a hula hoop, just slides around. It's not actually spinning, it's just sliding around. But that's your scroll compressor. Very efficient, very effective.